Hi! Welcome to Propellerettes! I'm Anastasia and this is the final part of our Papander series. We'll discuss targeting settings, scheduling, and there is something special for dessert as we promised. You will see the first results of our campaign at the end of this video. Here we go! Setting up targeting is a big step to make. In this section, you should choose the targeting settings that match the requirements of your offer. The general recommendation is to use broader targeting at the start of your campaign and narrow it down based on the campaign's results. The first and main tip here is not to target desktop and mobile devices at once. You should only target one platform at a time. Next, apart from targeting users of a certain operational system, device model, browser and connection type, you can also choose on which zones you want or don't want your ads to run. This option will be useful once you receive any analytics from the testing period, so let's leave it like that for now. The same applies to the Audiences tab, as you might not have the necessary data just yet. And this is how you can collect the best performing audiences. In Propeller Ads, you have the opportunity to collect custom audiences for retargeting. This is done with the help of our Audiences 2 All tool, which allows you to segment users in groups based on how they interact with your ads. With this data, you can specifically target people who got interested in your ads and converted before. This is likely to bring you more conversions at a lower price in the future or open new opportunities, for example, for upselling. The first option is to collect an audience of engaged users. These are the people who got interested in your landing page according to our viewability pixel. That means that they spent at least two seconds on it. Please note that to use it, you'll have to apply the viewability pixel to your landing page, so it won't work if you're sending people directly to the offer's target page. Another option is to collect users who performed a conversion in this campaign. Such users are great to target if you are planning an upsell or run similar offers in future. This option requires you to set up S2S postback tracking, but we've already done that in this campaign. A quick note, on top of these options, we have a classic retargeting pixel. With it, you can re-engage visitors of your website or landing page. Feel free to get this code at the Audience tab. So, to collect your audience, choose an option and type in its name in the Audience Name field. You can create a new audience or add users to an existing one. And if you have already used this feature, please write a comment and tell us how your audience-based campaign performed. In the campaign schedule, you can select the hours when your ads will be active according to the selected time zone. Make sure to check the requirements of your offer. For example, some advertisers want their ads to run during business hours only. The last step is to agree to our terms and conditions and hit the Start Campaign button. After your campaign is approved by our policy team, you will start receiving impressions. It's been 30 minutes, and we can see the first results. We have just launched the campaign, and we will have to wait a little more than 30 minutes to receive our first conversions and earn money with them. To see more details, we have to go back to the statistics page and find out campaign. We have different filters to search for it if you can find it. The first group of stats we see is traffic types. As we said before, we have propeller ads traffic and broker traffic. We have more stats and you can check them after your campaign gets enough statistics. This is it. Thanks for watching our series. To get more educational content, please subscribe to our channels and visit our blog. And if you have any questions, please come to our propeller ads telegram chat. In addition, 24-7 technical support is available to you right on the platform.
our YouTube channel grows as well, so click the red subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell. This way you will get notifications about new videos. See you!